Now going ahead to the next session, I'd like to welcome our next session speaker. He is Mr. Dheeraj Gupta, co-founder and CTO for Mfilterate, the world's leading trust partner, offering neutral third-party uh, solutions for ad fraud detection and prevention. He is the mastermind behind identifying a bad bot and demarcating it from a good one in the digital world. And he loves to develop technologies for them to share some insights on the need for antivirus in digital marketing. So maybe have you on board, Dheeraj. He's already here with us and he'll be talking about the need for antivirus in digital marketing. So let's go ahead. Uh, thank you so much, Shobha, and I appreciate the introduction. Uh, it's, it's great to be here. And uh, I think the topic which I am covering is, is very interesting. Normally, uh, something which uh, when we are going into digital transformation, uh, the previous speaker was talking about how digital transformation is increasing in India and globally because of COVID. It is equally important to understand the precautions required to be taken when you are investing into digital transformation. Uh, we've all been from the world where we've seen why antivirus was a critical need uh, uh, on, on our desktops, on our laptops, we don't think twice about making sure that we have an antivirus on our devices. Uh, we obviously realize that it is almost mand mandatory if we have to uh, be in the digital world, we have to transact, we have to make payments. Uh, but when as advertisers, uh, we plan our campaigns, when we plan our budgets, to spend money online, uh, we assume, uh, interestingly, we assume that the same digital ecosystem is clean, the same digital ecosystem is without malware, the same digital ecosystem is without bots. Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a conundrum because we obviously keep seeing how scams are happening online, how, uh, you know, there are fake websites, there are crawlers, there are bots. Uh, and, and we still assume that whatever we are spending on digital marketing is going to the right uh, audience, it is going on the right channels, it is bringing the full ROI which you are spending for. And that, I believe, is an, an important myth which needs to be broken. And I want to talk about why having an antivirus is extremely important in your digital campaigns if you're spending on digital marketing, you should be aware of how and where your money is being spent. Otherwise, you're going to be cheated in the same way as Malware used to cheat us on our laptops, on our desktops. Um, and, uh, and that, I think, is extremely important. Another interesting thing, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'm sharing my presentation. Uh, we all are interacting with bots these days, right? Um, we keep seeing chatbots. Uh, AI is becoming very important. The previous speaker was talking about AI and how it is changing the world. Um, we, we keep seeing that we are interacting on a call center with, with a bot. Uh, a bot, we interact with Alexa, for example, that is a bot. Uh, bots are able to do a lot of activity uh, with almost similar experiences what a human would. Why would those same bots not impact your marketing campaigns? What, what is the reason why these bots would say, hey, let me not trouble ads and impact everyone else? It just doesn't make sense. Bots now compromise the largest percentage of traffic online. If I was to give you one thing to take away, machines have already taken over the digital world. Uh, it's a recap of Terminator, if anyone is interested in that franchise. But the amount of traffic which is online is, uh, is machine driven, is far more than human traffic. Uh, look, if you see the article right at the bottom, this is a Hindu Business Line article, just September 5th, 2021. Two thirds of traffic on any website is bot traffic. And these bots will obviously be on the website, they will trigger ads ads which you are paying for and you will end up spending money on ads which are being seen by machines with no benefit from a human interaction. Uh, this I think is very important to understand and that I think is the key takeaway of why an antivirus is needed when you're running your digital campaigns. In fact, it's not, uh, there was a very interesting and a very 
diametrical analysis done by uh, HP uh, way back in 2016, by the way, this is almost four or five years ago. That study was repeated this year and it came with identical results. In terms of ease of doing fraud and the payout potential, ad fraud is the best option for fraudsters. So if anyone out there is thinking of an alternate profession, is thinking of you know, getting bored out of their current life and want to take up the life of crime, ad fraud is the place to be in. In terms of the effort required and the risk, it is amazing. Uh, you, can, you can set yourself in digital marketing very, very easily. You, the risk associated is almost zero. You will never go to jail. Interestingly, it is not illegal anywhere in the world. Ad fraud is not illegal, which means you will never go to jail. And your payout potential is in millions and millions of dollars. Just last year, a bot was detected. It was called the Meth Bot, M-E-T-H Bot. Please do read about it. It was impacting YouTube. Uh, this bot was by Russian uh, mafia. They were making $6 million per day. $6 million per day on YouTube, which was being burnt out. And this bot in itself made millions and millions of dollars at the cost of all advertisers. So please remember, ad fraud is here. Digital transformation is critical. Antivirus is extremely important for that transformation to work. Some myths, which I want to cover very quickly. If you think that you have trusted sources, uh, there are a lot of wall gardens and we feel, no, we are comfortable there. We know that, you know, those are more trusted partners. Unfortunately, that's a myth. There is fraud on wall gardens. Those same bots which impact other publishers impact all those wall gardens as well. Another myth is, hey, I'm optimizing towards performance. I'm optimizing towards sales. How can that be wrong? There is fraud on performance campaigns. Even if you're optimizing towards sales and performance, that doesn't mean that you are without fraud. There is actually a high chance that you might actually have more fraud in performance campaigns. And just why is, you know, in brands need antivirus? We did a survey with marketeers and we asked them, what are your concerns on digital transformations? And most of them, had topics which were very high in their agenda. 40% felt that ROI for the marketing activities were a big challenge. Fraud will impact your ROI. You will get lower return on ad spends simply because bots are eating away your budgets. You might feel that my website is slow, my content is not good, my digital marketing team is useless, my agency is not up to the mark. No, that all of that may be the case, but Fundamentally, you're already losing 20, 25% of your budget on bots. The moment you plug that leakage, you already have a great starting point for having a far better ROI than what you currently have. So it is important to understand that your ROI in your digital transformation program is going to get massively impacted if you don't bring in an antivirus in place. And this is agnostic to social media campaigns, YouTube campaigns, search campaigns, display campaigns, programmatic campaigns, you name it, these bots can impact all of these for you. What about brand safety? Everyone is, understands that brand is very important. It is important that brands should be uh, played in the right uh, audience, in the right content, in the right placements. But how is that being enforced? Here are four examples of simply campaigns running on YouTube, where the, there are, these are large global examples on the top, two Indian examples on the bottom, where clearly the brand safety was massively impacted. Placements were completely incorrect. The brand, when it is running and spending money on these placements, is impacting its, on its own. So it's, it's like shooting yourself in the leg. You're spending money to impact yourself. And this, I believe, is extremely important to protect against. And as more and more customers are becoming tech savvy, they, they are going online, they understand what is happening. They, they realize that brands are actually spending money 
and if they don't know where they're spending money then they also start doubting their products their services it has an impact on your pr and your pub, on your publicity in social media so remember this and again the need of antivirus to protect this becomes crucial and what is the compounding impact of the virus right so first is that you lose 25% of your money straight away today all advertisers on this call all of you have lost 25% of your money full stop if that doesn't shake you up i don't know what will right 25% money lost today it will be lost tomorrow as well and day after but that doesn't that doesn't stop the impact when you actually burn this money you lose this money but you also pay money to bad publishers at the cost of good publishers so in the ecosystem now good publishers lose out they don't get the traffic and the dollars which they should get and bots and machines eat up that budget when you run the analysis your optimization is flawed you're looking at polluted data you are measuring your team's performance your product performance your kras on polluted data and that polluted data will give you result in flawed optimizations which will further make the matter worse and finally every dollar which you are losing is going to fraudsters who is actually investing that to improve himself to scale up so when you lose 25% you are actually giving that money to a fraudster who is going to build the tech to become more rampant and that is only going to result in more and more fraud so effect in effect you are actually investing into fraud and that i think is extremely important to understand that not only are you uh, losing money you are actually contributing to the problem and that's where it becomes extremely important for all advertisers to understand this so finally um, mfilter it is an antivirus we help you in covering your complete funnel you might be on impressions you might be on programmatic you might be on clicks you might be on visits leads purchases whatever your payout models are whatever your channels are wall gardens programmatic search social whatever is the campaign spend on which you are doing we have you covered and i believe that this is an important aspect for you to understand because you would you have just lost 25% of your budget today and with a a, a a a filtration in place you can recover that claw that back and bring that back into your campaigns and improve and generate more business for your brand that's all from my side uh, thank you so much and uh, that's the, i am open for questions if any thank you so much dheeraj for your lovely presentation i think you really simplified it for all of us and it was really an eye opener to see that how uh, you know we are enabling these bots to even grow further and you know it's just crashing the whole uh, digital economy so thank you so much for joining us for this session